What's going on fam? It's the entertainer, motivator, educator Lucky Murray with another edition of CHH Today. And I am doing something that I was waiting on for the past two years. KB, boy Kevin, just dropped his new project. Today we rebel. And I am doing my thoughts of the album. So guys, I've been out for a minute. I had to really process it and listen to it before I put my opinion out because I'm a big fan of KB. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, Tomorrow We Live album was one of my favorite albums of 2015. And I just like KB's delivery. I like his energy. I like his stamina. And I also love the fact that this brother is truly 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 a man of god and i don't know him personally but when you look at interviews when you look at the way he carried himself you can see just the presence of god within the brother man and now i was very excited to listen to the album so i listened to it the first two or three tracks i did skip because hey they were just the singles that he already had out you know don't know no don't nobody own us it's, it's one of my favorites but i was like look i'm trying to get into the meat of the album and i just really want to listen to it and here's my thing here's my opinion you are probably clicked on to see my opinion so here's what i think this is a dope album bro i love the f- one of my standout tracks that that just hit me just like bam man the art of drifting i felt like this track was a track that i related to because i think as a christian hip-hop artist i feel like you know getting to that second tier of artistry is somewhere that i want to go and kb being an artist that's really much at the pinnacle of this niche i mean he's a dope artist he's just probably way past the niche but at the same time you know um just at that tier of you know having a fan base but not mainstream but you know making a living off of your music i felt that coming from that perspective was really 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 dope and gave the insight to what happens after you become a you know just famous star and how you know the difference between hey you know having sell out shows is more important than sell out souls and uh he made the statement i don't think it was on art of drifting but it was one of the songs he said i want to be no more as a christian than a rapper you know the debate whether you know the debate in chh is christian as a rapper or a christian rapper you know a lot of Christian rappers don't care whether or not you call them a Christian rapper. And some people refer, prefer excuse me, to be called a Christian who raps. My opinion is it's really irrelevant. If you're a child of God, you know, your music will speak for itself. I don't care what type of content it is. You know, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, it will show itself no matter what you do. Whether you're a plum, whether you're a plumber, whether you're an Eric, uh, pilot whether you're a truck driver a school bus driver the radiance of god flows within you if you drink from the living water but for prime time another drink had with lecrae uh was very 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 you know, different you know I, I love the way he blends you know singing he, he singing with uh, it's just the, the blend of singing and music it tells a much much powerful story um I love the fact that he don't have a whole lot of features, maybe four or five. I think as an artist, he, he leans more on himself to really do some things. But I really thought the, the, the track was dope. Uh, more tracks that I felt that was great were, of course, Tempo. That was one of my favorite tracks. Monster with Aha Gazelle. I thought that was a really good track. Get Through uh, with Lecrae. That was another track that I, I liked too because it's like... Man, you know, you just I, I just felt that one. Uh, the art of hope. I like that one too. I just I just felt that the track, um, the album from first glance was a really good album. So listen to it, man. Tell me what you think, man. Comment below. I would love to hear your opinions. I, 
I agree with David. I agree that this is content wise. Uh, David from New Zealand, content wise, is, is one of the most God centered albums that I've heard from the CHH community. Where I rank it at with the albums I heard throughout the year, it's, it's in my top five. I, I think this might be number one. Um, I'm not a big NF fan. So, and, and please, 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 guys, when you hear me say that, it's not the fact that, hey, I don't like NF music. I think he makes dope music. I'm speaking more terms to the fact of the, the, the way he presents his music. To me, he can be very aggressive, very sad. But I think he's a dope artist. He's just not for me in the season I'm in right now. But I necessarily don't. If, if I compare this album to NF's album, I like this album better than NF's album. But I have a personal bias. So comment below, tell me what you think. If you love the KB album, please comment below. Let me know exactly what songs you like. Let's keep the conversation going. If you like this video, please hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know the drill. Keep it straight, one double zero. Hit that thumbs down and tell me why. It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murder with a CHH Today review. KB Today, Rebel.